Hi, Lil Sis. How are we doing today? Um, what was that name now again? Amy. Amy. Is it Amy? Yeah. Amy. And her last name started with an L, I believe. An R. R. Ratliff. Happy anniversary. We already seen you a um, short video. Mm-hmm. So today I'm making a bacon cheeseburger casserole. So what I did is I sauteed some bacon and hamburger and sausage mixed together. Onions and green peppers, and then I put the beef base in there and everything I do. I'll put that in the video screen. You guys seen me make hamburger a lot of times. I'll show you that. So, the sauce is different. The sauce they told me to do, they told me to take cream of celery or cream of chicken and add cheese to it. So, I'm going to do it this time just to see how it is. So I got cream of celery, not cream of celery, cream of chicken. Mm -hmm. And I add uh, melted cheese, and I'm putting it right in here. This it said to do it that way if you don't have the cheddar cheese soup. If you don't have cheddar cheese soup. Or you can have cheddar cheese soup to it. It's whatever but you know you what? Want that do. cheddar cheese soup isn't very uh, I think it's cheap salty. at all at the stores. It's more expensive than the... Cream of mushroom and cream of uh, chicken. I think it's too salty anyways. Well, cream of celery is about the same price as the cream of uh, cheese. So, you mix this up into the sauce. Just like this. Mix it up nice and pretty. Yeah, you will, um, don't have to worry about pooping for a couple days. <laughs> yeah. And that's if that's what cheese does to you. I have no problem with cheese. So, I got that mixed up. That's the base. And then I, I had said that you can use French fries, tater tots, onion rings, onion rings mixed with French fries. And I have tater tots. So I'm going to put tater tots on top of it. We got to get onion rings next month. We haven't had them for a while. Yeah. Oh, hang on. They hang said on. even curly hang fries, too. But any kind of fry. And it said, I always do this anyways when I make my casseroles anymore, to deep fry the french fries or whatever you're going to use it said to do it so it can be crispy on top so what I'm doing right now yes I pre-cooked everything because I bet you guys if you want to watch me do everything and nobody's commenting nobody's commenting to me saying yeah I would like to see you do it so I uh, I just pre-do it. Anyway. Sorry if it sounded like I was close to the camera, because I was. I was helping him out, trying to smooth him out a little bit. So what you do is you get your tater tots uh, or whatever you're going to use. You can put onion rings in it with it if you want to. It said that it's just like you're having a hamburger, cheeseburger, with your french fries and, and everything. Onion rings on top of the tater tots. There we go. Yeah, that would be good. <laughs> I don't have any. No. I don't feel like whipping up a batter and making it right now. But that takes time, too. Yeah. So, next venture is, it says to put some cheese on top. Shredded cheese. I got shredded cheese right here. This is a mixed blend. They call it Mexican blend, but it's just, I got queso cheese in it. It's got um, Monterey Jack cheddar cheese and... Um, some other cheese in it. I can't see it very well. Cause... So, let me put that down in there. Right on top. Let me see the front of the bag. Maybe I can pronounce it. 
Asiago. Ah. I had it in the wrong way in the light. Asiago is expensive. And Asiago cheese. This is what I'm using. You can use a mixed blend if you want to. This He's is, been wanting to get a brick of the queso cheese, but... I'm waiting queso, for Queso, however you want to say it. But... It's expensive. Everything has gone up. Gas here, three ninety nine a gallon. That's expensive for gas. So, and then, give me one second. What are you sprinkling on top now? I said sprinkle a little bit of bacon bits. Oh, okay. I got some bacon bits here. I get these at Sam's. I got to put that on the list too. I get I these I at Sam's. Stuff. They're very good. I use it in omelets and other stuff if I want to. It's a little bit cheaper. If you're doing green beans in the crock pot, those will work just as good as regular bacon. Because it, it is actually regular bacon crumbled. I'm going to put some bacon bits on top. <laughs> just like that. I can see somebody running that dish with sour cream. And then, now I'll tell you another thing. My family is kind of different than everybody else. It says to add lettuce, tomatoes, pickles when it's done. But I know my family won't eat it that way unless it's a taco dish. It's the only way they'll eat it. But it says you can add lettuce and tomatoes on it when it's done. Or your Mexican lasagna. Or oh, yeah, my Mexican lasagna. And uh, somebody was asking me about um, carrying cast irons. Um, I did do a video on carrying a cast iron. It is, I think, like four, five months ago. Something like that. It's real simple. You just get slices of bacon to cover the bottom of your pan here put it in your oven at 500 degrees and let it cook for one hour something like that yeah one hour because you can eat the bacon when it's done you can turn it into bacon bits dump the grease out and take a, a clean paper towel and wipe around in and kind of smear the rest of it in there and it, it's cured he's yep. got to do it again anyway on some of them yeah it's pretty easy mm -hmm. I, I do have a video of it um, so, here's this, and I hope you guys are liking these different culture foods, too, but that, because what I'm doing is trying to, not just American food, I'm trying to do nationality foods, because if you guys are from a different part of the world, and you tell me, you know, send me a message on YouTube, the, one of the videos, saying, hey, what about my culture of food? I will look it up. And you can ask Mama. I will look it up. And I'll sit there while I'm watching my TV at night in my bedroom. I will read it. And then I'll sit there and break it down by step by step. And that's what I would do with a recipe. And that's what I always do with recipes. No matter what any recipe you get off the line. You can break it down for your family. And how they like the way the food is made. I could take a spicy dish and make it a national dish where it's not too spicy at all. It don't have any spice in it. Anybody can do that. You could take a, take a regular dish and make it super spicy if you want. You know, that's... I make it that suits my family. That's how I make it. Anything I make, it suits my family. If it doesn't suit my family, they ain't happy. And I'm going to let you know that. <laughs> they get cranky. We always run the recipe by them first. Yep, I always tell them what I'm making that night. So, if you guys are from a different part of the world, Puerto Rico, already, Cuban, Turkey, any part of the world, and if I never made it, yep, because there is sometimes chefs that there ain't any chef out there in the world that says they made that food. Man, I'm gonna tell you right now, there is some part of the world that one chef in this world has it made and I'm telling you right now I don't care if you're a chef that's been a chef for a hundred years 
there's some culture food out there that nobody's ever seen or heard. Like that Hawaiian stew that I did, I never heard of it. And somebody said they wanted a Hawaiian dish. I can't remember. They sent me a message on Facebook that said, can you make a, a beef stew Hawaiian style? Okay. So what I did is I take and read the thing and made it. Just like Hawaiian, homemade Hawaiian rolls. My wife made them. You know, that's how Mama does. And that's how we do it. We're just one of a kind family. That's what we are. Down there, people. But this is going in the oven. It'll take about probably about 10, 12 minutes. Once it gets golden brown, I'll pull it out. We'll do our prayer. And we're going to eat. So, be back in a few minutes, little chefs. So, see you in a few. Peace. Well, chefs, we're back. Here's the bacon cheeseburger casserole. Looks pretty good. Smells pretty yummy, too. Mm -hmm. uh, Sissy Hillbilly's going to do the prayer tonight. Remember, Edward's family, your family, your grandpa. Dub's family, Wayne's family. Okay. Well, she has to be reminded, guys. And, uh... Let me leave the room. Go ahead. Just say the prayer. Hey, Lord, thank you for this good time. This upper channel. Help. Are you almost done? Dubs. Dubs family and front boy. Amen. Okay. I hate everyone in the world. Amen. Okay. It looks delicious, guys. Sorry about that, y'all. And then I didn't want my phone to get, get me in trouble for it. Yeah. So I had to hurry up and grab it. I can get in trouble. reason why we're having uh, her pray for Dub's family is because it was his cousin, Dub, yeah. who passed away unexpectedly. Well, yeah, he's only At the 40. age of 45. And, and kind of makes you think about your own health, you know? So. It's, it's sad to see because mm -hmm. they already lost one brother in a motor, motorcycle accident. How long ago was that? Oh, it's been a while. Oh, okay. It's been a long time. About 10 years, 12 years, I think it is. Yeah. And now we lost him. Mm-hmm. He was a good kid. He, he played for um, football for Macon, Macon County football team. I can't remember the name of it. That's from Blue Mountain, Illinois. From my people tell me, because I never got to meet him, and he'll take their shirt right off his back for you. Yeah, he's a good kid. Very good kid. We had a lot of fun. We did a lot when we was younger. So, bless him being out there. Mm-hmm. So, this is another video down in the books for you all. Yep. And we appreciate you all. Like, subscribe, share us out. Hit that like button. Keep on hitting it every day. For our female subscribers, please go get yourself checked for any type of cancer. I had my mammogram today. I'm cancer free still, so please go do that. It ain't that bad. I don't know. The pressure they put in that dang machine. Woo! It's just a little squeeze on your titty. That's it. Okay, I'm going to take you there in the morning and let them squeeze your titties then. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't a little squeeze, is it, girls? <laughs> okay. So we love y'all, and God bless y'all, and y'all have a good night. Peace.